Yes, good evening, beloved. How are you? Oh, fine. Give me one second. Okay, my love. Okay, thank you so much for holding. Oh, no problem. That's cool. I'm very patient. <laughs> very patient. Um, no, it, no problem with that. Um, so how are you feeling? How are you? Uh, I'm not in the best of moods. There's a lot going on. And I was just going through some things, and you popped up on my screen. And you know I always take that as a sign. I called in. Maybe it's something I need to know. Yeah, well, well emailed you. <laughs> right, right. Well, the, here's the thing. What, that, what your spirit guides are saying that, like you just said, you might be going through some some things or emotionally wise and I'm going to allow you to express yourself so we can get down to the root of it but when I as I was dialing your number they say listen you need to tell her the only person that's going to save her is herself um I do see you um on a boat and it is a bit rocky however they're saying listen tell her to believe in herself because once she begins or rather once she focus the issue is where you're focusing your energy on um, and again, I'm going to allow you to express yourself, but what they're saying is the issue is where you are focusing your energy on, and where you're focusing your energy on is what is real. So, say for example, you're going through your emotional crisis, and you don't know what to do, and you don't know the next step. Here's what you should begin to do. You should begin to say, okay, well, I understand what is happening, and this is the next step. So rather claiming what it is that you want in the near future, or rather claiming what it is that you want to manifest. Right now, because you are, I guess, striving for new beginnings, or rather not understanding what is happening now, they're saying, listen, tell her to save herself. And the way that you can save yourself is by not focusing or rather focusing your energy on what you have control over um, is the main thing that they're saying. And then, too, I'm seeing the number 29. They're saying 29, 29, 29. So then I ask your spirit guides, okay, well, what do we, what, what is it? Is it 11? They're saying, no, it's 2 and 9. So when you say 2 and 9, they're speaking about balancing yourself or coming to a complete divine spirit or healing spirit with the number two so that you can what begin something new by closing whatever it is that you're going through right now closing up that chapter as you close up that chapter in the midst of you closing up this chapter you will gain strength or you will gain balance or you will begin to save yourself so that you can start something new because after nine is one or rather ten so in any event, the two from the 29 is dealing with transition, is dealing with balancing yourself, um, the left and the right brain, dealing with the sp your spiritual self and the physical self, you know, um, and then two, the number nine is saying yes, in order for her to go on or rather complete or end whatever it is that you're going through, as you will explain, you have to... Um, you know, you have to get into the groove, rather, and that's where the number nine is coming in at with the completion thing, um, and then getting closer to God, or rather getting closer to your highest good, because you are a very sweet soul, and what they're saying is everything that, what they're saying is everything that, what, what is that saying, everything that glitter, I mean, everything that spark is not glitter, or everything that glitter is not gold. Oh. Yeah. yeah, everything that glitter is not gold. So you're actually uh, re uh, learning a very valuable lesson in terms of people, in terms of how they treat you, and how and what you allow for others to, you know, how you allow others to treat you. So this is a very actual good um, lesson, and they're saying, listen, I hope she's learning. I hope she's learning. <laughs> uh huh. That's what it is. I hope she's learning. I hope she's learning. Um, give me a second. Uh-huh. Do you live by the beach? You need to get by the beach. We no, live. I live in Las Vegas, so it's nothing but desert. Oh, you live in Las Vegas. Oh, you mm -hmm. live in Vegas. Oh, but you're close to 
you're close to Cali over there. Um, yeah. Mm, that's why. It, oh, okay. That's where they're showing me. Okay. Uh huh. Well, give me a second. Uh huh. Uh. You ever took a crystal bath? Ooh, this is interesting. I did. But I didn't know what I was doing. I just put some quartz in the um, tub and some sea salt. You told me to take baths with sea salt. That's coming up so again with you. Them. That is definitely coming up again with you. But this is what I want you to do differently. Um, because we're speaking about charging um, your spirit. So you, it's like you need a charge. You know when you know when your phone is going dead and your phone needs a charge? Um, the, mm-hmm. your aura more so is going low or is getting low, so you need a charge. So in any event, you need to cleanse yourself only to charge yourself, right? You need to clean yourself off, and then once you're cleansed, you need to charge. So the sea salt bath is going to clean you, but the crystal bath is going to charge you. But what they're saying okay. is, uh-huh, what they're saying is, you have to combine them this time, and I'm seeing amethyst, and I'm also seeing clear quartz. But this is the interesting thing. I'm not sure if clear quartz actually like water. You will have to um, go and do some further research on that. But this is what they're showing me, a clear crystal. So it's rather clear quartz, it's rather selenite, um, or it's rather, some, yeah, it's rather selenite um, or clear quartz. One or the other. Okay. Google and see if you are able to put those crystals in water. Um, is what I'm saying oh, okay. to you. And if you are able to put those crystals, I know, I know, amethyst is good. Um, with water. Yeah. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I know amethyst is good with water, cause I I soak my amethyst all the time when I cleanse, um, my beauty. Um, so she's good. Um, with with water, but it's the uh. It's the clear the quartz. Selenite or the quartz. Right. I'm not okay. sh- I'm not quite sure, but it should be because again, selenite or even clear quartz is a crystal that cleanses and charges other crystals. So it's like the powerhouse. Right. And it gets along with everyone. So I'm more so feeling like it's more so like an energetic uh uh-huh, because I see a shadow behind you. So you are actually picking on or rather picking up or rather holding on to uh negativity in the sense or bad feelings or bad spirits or you know it's like residue it's like someone that is following you or somebody that is eating your spirit or rather somebody that is taking too much of your spirit or of your time mm-hmm. but here's the mm-hmm. thing beloved yep. but here's the thing my love yeah somebody is taking it but you you're giving it you're nobody giving can't that, right? nobody can't take it if you don't give it that's 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 why they said you need to save yourself. Um, in any event, definitely need to save yourself. And what I will also recommend, if you're interested, um, which is not on my site, this is a specialized bath that I prepare for clients, where it's just a um, uplifting of your spirit uh, bath, and that's what they're showing me. They're showing me the bottle that I use, and they're telling me to t- for you to use that. It's a uplifting. Okay. It's an uplifting of your spirit bath. Meaning, times when you're low, like I keep telling you, I'm feeling like your your battery or your spirit is low because you're giving it to someone else or whatnot, or there's some type of exchange where someone is being parasitic, so your energy is becoming low, and then you know someone else is becoming high, um, and that's why they they're recommending for you to charge yourself because. I'm feeling like it's sort of like a depression, a depressive state or a stressful state. So they're showing me the bath that I can prepare for you and telling her to uplift her spirit bath on top of what I already told you or recommended um, for you. Um, Definitely that. Uh Uh-huh. Give me a second. Uh Uh-huh. On Thursdays, okay, you want to wrap your hair in white um, is what they're saying Thursdays. Mhm. What's Thursday? Thursday is Thursday is Thursday is Jupiter Day. Okay, expansion. Okay, the number three. Okay, mind, body, and soul. Okay, the Trinity. Okay, soul and spirit. Okay, 
Okay, I understand. Yeah, so Thursday, tomorrow, you also want to give yourself a head wash, um, too, with the sea salt. Just sprinkle it with what they're showing me. Sprinkle, you know, you want to get, like, um, give me a second. Warm up the water, or rather boil water, you know, some boil some water, and add sea salt to the boiled uh, water. Let it settle for a while. Let it be, like, real, like, sea salt, like, as if you're going to the beach. So you want to get, okay. like, one cup to like a half a cup of uh, water all right that's how potent you want it and then you want to sprinkle you know just sprinkle it over your head or into your roots so you want to massage it to release the stress uh-huh and then what else and then after you do that you want to wrap your head in white is what they're showing me mm-hmm so that it's, it's just part of the journey you know it's part of the the releasing journey or part of the ritual to help you grow or rather to help your spirit you know the physical and the spiritual realign um with each other again okay. mm -hmm. any questions beloved what's going on what's happening what's what's this about well, well give you a quick quick one now all right i lost my mom i lost my sister i lost my um sister's daughter to her father but I'm the one who had her since she was born, so it felt like she was my daughter. Of course. But I don't have a say because it's his daughter, and he's good to her. Don't get me wrong. They love her. After that, I, I had to have a hysterectomy. So I haven't dealt with none of that. And I met someone, and I guess because I have such a, a intimate now, I attached to him. Mm. And he, he behaves, you know, like he cared and was sweet and I've been dealing with him for five years but now all of, well not all of a sudden I would be lying to myself it's more of me always doing to him even though I'm running on E already yeah and and I think that I've gotten set up and yesterday I just told the truth I guess my spirit couldn't take it no more oh yeah and and just his response, him being so detached and cold and not even reacting or answering my questions after all that time in the situation and him knowing the situation, it just broke me down. Mm. So I was wondering, you know, did I make the right decision? You know, um. because now I feel even more alone, you know, but... I can't be with someone who's constantly draining me, and I'm already low. So that's that's and not I even know. so then that's not even mm -hmm. a question. That's not even a question, beloved. That's not even a question. You you can't you can, but how is how is that a question in terms of did you right make the right decision? You damn fucking right you did. <laughs> You damn right I, I you did. It. <laughs> I questioned it because I feel so alone. Mm -hmm. I live on a whole different side of the country than my family. So I'm here by myself. And he was really all I had, even though in reality I didn't have him. You know, mm. he didn't have my back. So, so now it's it time. Just made so, me now feel the, alone. so now the universe, now the universe will not allow him to prey on you. Um, remember when I was saying to you, it feels like, you know, someone is sucking you or rather taking your energy and it's getting low and low and low. So now you're at the point where I cannot take it anymore. So now as a right. result of that, I cannot take it anymore. You now contact me. Now I give you the charge, the plug. You get what I'm saying? Your battery is yeah. low. Like I told you before, it's like when your phone goes dead. Your battery is low. Now I'm giving you the charge. <laughs> so you okay already. You're fine. Yeah. Now you now you got to get charged back up. And again, beloved, you know, I understand that. And it's a good lesson because now you, you know, you are expecting more from the next person that comes into your reality or align yourself with your highest good. Because yeah. had had this continue 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 stress kills people rather you well, believe that I don't or not need that. and you don't need that not one bit not not from nobody that's not doing good for you not that right. 
not somebody that's not whining and dining you and paying your bills and making sure that you all right and rubbing your feet. Not from that. No. Like, you know, so you actually did do a good, good, well, did a good deed. And that's perhaps why they tell, they showed me the number two and nine. Closing nine is the closing out the chat, closing out this chapter, or or rather, as you said, you asking him questions and he's not even answering the way you want him to, or he's not really giving you the closure that you want. But the universe exactly. and your spirit, right? And it's okay because the universe and your spirit is going to make it to where you find your own closure. And don't stress this guy out. If this brother don't want to tell you things, you're just looking at him and saying, "Wow." This is the person that I have been dealing with. You see, right. this is this is a good thing though. This is this is a good thing that you know who you've been dealing with. This is a good thing because in, in the near future you don't need people like that around you, especially right. you've you know you've lost your loved ones that were dear to you. You got you know you had surgery or right now. This is a very sensitive time of your life right now. So guess what? If you are not going to be nurturing to me. The universe is not going to allow you to take advantage of me. So rather I want to stay with you or not, beloved, he got to go. He has to go. He has to go. And it is a bit challenging because, again, you are alone. That's fine. However, self-love is the best love. And in order for you to have self-love, you have to be alone. A, spirit, a spiritual journey is a journey that is done on its own. No friends, no loved ones at times. And that's the best thing. Because to the extent that you stay alone and you meditate and you love yourself and you fast, it's to the extent that you know who you are and your highest potential. Many of us don't even know our highest potential at all. Many of us can't even sit, sit stand, or sit in front of a computer and watch a lecture for five minutes. They can't do it. <laughs> five. Not even 20 or 15 or even 10. Five. Five minutes. People have, we have short expansion, expansion span and also our nervous, our central nervous system is not intact. So if the central nervous system is not intact, then how are we going to connect to the universal creator? Because the central nervous system is what dictates that. On the physical level, you see. Mm -hmm. So it's it's you're gonna go through some 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 lonely nights. Yeah, I do too though. So it's all good. <laughs> yeah. I do you're too. absolutely right. Cause I really am alone. I don't have friends. I live on a whole different side of the country, and I lost the closest family to me, my whole household. So I am alone. And I just have to, I guess, learn to be there for myself. Yeah, that's why they said, tell her the only person that's going to save her is herself. Oh, and that's probably why they came through so strong like that. Because of this guy, this brother that you've been dealing with. Like, listen, hey, listen, like... At the end of the day, the only person that's gonna save you is yourself. That's just that's that's as I was dialing your number, that's how the that's how the energy was coming through. Like, listen, at the end of the day, hey, you know, and I'm like, oh, okay. Well, let me see what's going. I'm like, well, let me see what's going on with this sister here, you know. But 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 it is a little touchy. Um, and again, you know, he came into your life to teach you a lesson. And to also give you your blessings. Um, in any event, I do believe that you've learned a great deal um, from him. Yes, I have. So then, then it's all good. Yeah. And you know the funny thing, or I guess it's not the funny thing, the mm -hmm. thing that brought all of this to the head, to mm -hmm. our head, is the battery on my car died. Mm -hmm. Same battery situation you talking about, and he wouldn't answer me when I asked to borrow money for it because I had just paid for school so I didn't have money. Mm. So, and I lent him money every time he needed it. And I, it just broke my heart that I can't ask you for help and you know, I give so much. 
baby girl, my love, I love you so much. I love all my clients. And like me and my friend said, listen, if, if, if I'm screwing you and I can't even ask you for a couple of dollars, what the hell I'm opening up my yoni for? And it's just like that. I'm just saying, mm-hmm. it is just like that because guess what, beloved? Your sacred space is your sacred space, and your sacred space is sacred to you. So if you are sharing your sacred space and your energy and your love, you know, to somebody that you confined in and he can't even support you when it's critical, yo. Right. Me and my friends, we, we you know, it's like, why are we dealing, why are we even dealing with you? Like you can't right. you you, I, you want me to give you you want me to sexually satisfy you and you know make sure that you well taken care of and you are in good standards but I can't get that like I'm the goddess I'm the queen I'm the mother right I'm the mother here you understand I'm the mother here and guess what if you don't value me then I will value myself. And as I continue to value myself, I will align myself with someone else that will also value me. And that's it. No fear. No fear. No, oh, am I going to find somebody else? You will. You definitely will in due time. When Once you have holistically healed yourself from this, you know, downtime of yours in a sense, you know, yeah. once you have come into, because right now you're in no position to even be trying to seek love from or right. give love to somebody else. So that's not even an option. No. And I know that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He has children. Huh? He has children. Yeah. And he had them while we were dating. Yeah, he's he's a liar. That's it. He's a that's he's a liar. That's what they said. Uh, I I you know, cause in order for me to know who they talking about, I asked your spirit guys, who is this guy? And your spirit guy said he has children. And I said, oh, okay, he has children. They said, yeah, he has children. He's a liar. So I'm repeating to you what they are saying to me. He's a, he's a liar. Um, he's a liar. Be careful of him, beloved. What's his sign? Gemini or, or Sagittarius or what? Leo. Ooh, yeah, a fire sign. I'm feeling that. Yeah, they, 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 they're known to not be too trustworthy. And I'm so sorry of that because my, my son, my spiritual son, he, he was born under the Leo sun. And um, he's a Leo, actually, you know, born under the Leo sun or Leo in astro- astrological or whatever. Um, and I'm going to teach him not to lie. So there's Leos that are not, you know, that are not trustworthy. And there's Leos that are very good people. But reputation-wise right. and from experience, I've learned or I've experienced Leos not to be too trustworthy. And I'm telling you the truth. Men that I've known that has been trying to hit on me, who's been Leos, and then they turn around and post pictures up of their girlfriends, and it's like, bruh. And then, you know, just from personal relationships, too, personal people that I know who are Leos that they be lying. And I'm not saying all, so I know, you know, I'm not saying all, but my experience with Leos... I don't know about them. I felt the fire sign. I thought it was um Sagittarius, but it was it was it's, it's a Leo. Those they they them 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 people. And Those, I know he was a liar. I mean, he would talk. You know, I'm a like you said, I'm a sweet soul, and I just was like, I love him unconditionally. But the problem was, I was seeing who he could be, and not who he was. Well, I was accepting. Oh. Who he could be and not who he was. Oh, so you know so he's a liar. I knew. Yeah, I know everything oh. he was doing because not only am I sensitive, I can pick up on energy. Oh, he yeah. talks over his mouth because I'm quiet most of the time. And I know you know if you be quiet long enough, people tell you whatever you want to know. 
and he didn't even realize he was saying the opposite of what he had told me. You know how people just start talking mm -hmm. and not realizing what they're saying? Wait a minute. So he would talk. He would talk on the phone, and he would cover his cover the phone, like cover his mouth. Mama Ellen, he wouldn't even answer the phone for me. Oh. He'll answer a text immediately, <coughs> immediately. But for me to call, never. Yeah. Well, it's time. It's time to let go of that now. Less know, less stress on you. Less stress on you. That's where that shadow is coming in at. Very dark. That's why the, the, the bath is, is like to cleanse that off. Um, definitely, I would definitely recommend um, whenever you get a chance, um, email me, you know, when you're ready. And I will definitely prepare that for you because you got to, you know, wash this energy off, um, you know, in addition to the, the crystal bath um, that your right. spirit guides are recommending. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's all good though. Hey, well, I've dealt with liars. Shit, <laughs> I dealt with a liar before. We all dealt with liars. I lied before too. Right. too. I ain't going. I'm not going to sit here and say I'm I'm innocent. You know, people sometimes people you know they they right. but 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 continuously keep lying and and leading people on. No, I don't. I don't. I don't agree with yeah. that. That's that that's it not divine. No. Mm mm. Mm mm. That's, that's, that's and not. I know people lie. I know, yeah, but if you're using lie. someone who's down for you, for real, for real, you know how rare I am? Yeah. I never meet nobody like me. Ever. Yeah. Well, that, those are, that's, these, this is the lesson that you're learning now. Um, and I always say to my clients, it's, it's nothing wrong with helping or loving, but it's who you're helping and who you're loving. You know, and how and to the right. how much how much you're doing it because if you're giving a hundred percent and in return this person is only giving you thirty, it's like okay, well where's that balance? A relationship should always right. be balanced. If you low, if you're low, he's high. He helps you up and he picks you back up. If he's low and you're high, you help him up and you pick him back up. But if somebody's low and they're extending their hand. And that other person is like, well, I can't help you. It's like, right. well, I can't be with you. You can't help me? Okay, well, I can't be with you. And I'm not saying that you just curb somebody one one time. No, if this is a reputation or, or repeated cycle. Yeah, a pattern. Right. That's, 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 mm -mm. It's time to go. You're a sweet soul. You will be reunited again with someone that you know is from your past life because I always say people that we come into contact are are people that we come into contact with now are people that we've known in our past life. Right. So yeah. Oh, yeah. My nerves are just it's all That's good, why beloved. I call. No, I keep saying that call. <laughs> That's why I emailed. Well, I'm glad that you did. I'm glad that you emailed me. I am glad that, you know, from sister to sister, I was, I'm able to assist you and console you and comfort you, you know, and heal you and help you. Like, thank you for trusting me to do so because not everybody can do this, you know. And um, mm -hmm. thank you, you know, for trusting me. Again, I just have to thank you. Um, and you will be okay. I gave you the, you know, the suggestions. I gave you the solution that you can do for now until, you know, your next time around. Um, or yeah. until you, 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 you know, you defeated or rather you completed this first step. And once you complete the first step, you will be ready for some more food. And then you'll be eating right. again. And then, you know, and then it's just a continuous cycle of growth. Yeah. It'll be okay. It will be just fine, okay. beloved. We all have been question. We, we all have been heartbroken. What is your question, my love? Um, last time we had a um a session, it was like a ceremony. You you ended it out of breath. <laughs> 
because I guess people from my home, like I'm born and raised in New Orleans, they had like some type of spiritual um, ceremony. But something you mentioned, and I just wanted a little clarity on it. You said the people that came through were powerful, and people don't normally deal with those people. Mm. And you did mention Mama Bridget and Samdi, Papa Samdi. Baron Samdi. Uh, that's my that's my dude, Papa Baron, Sam, Baron Samdi. Yeah. yeah, these are the people. You know what? And I'm telling you, my love, I'm going to tell you how powerful that session was. I was waiting for you. I didn't know who you were. Let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you something right now. I remember that I was involved with a ritual in terms of you. They got me, and I was out of breath, and I never experienced that. I remember it. Guess what? That particular session got lost in the files. That's how spiritual... I never posted that video. I was looking for it. I didn't even know who you were. I'm like, who was this girl that I did this, this, this? I did it, and here you are on my line. Oh my God! Thank you, mother. Thank you. I thank the universal creator. I was waiting for you. I was waiting for you to contact me and say, yo, where's that video? You didn't even contact me. So that's how I know that video wasn't supposed to be posted on. That's not nothing to be posted. Mm -mm. Because you gave me permission. You gave me permission. Yeah. I didn't see it. I that It got lost. That was something very sacred and, and, and supposed to have been within the spirit realm to you. Um, you, 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 t Taga, right, Taga? Or Taga, yep. Yeah, my love. Wow. Give me a second. Let's get into that. What was your question? I'm sorry. Ha, they like, you remember me? You remember me? Who, wait, 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 wait. Oh, that's why. That is the reason why your spirit guides or your, the spirit realm was coming at me so strong like that because of our previous session that, you know, you had Barisamdi and, you know, Mama Bridget come through, and they are the deities of the underworld. I understand that, and they are very harsh with things. When you call on them is when you're ready to close things out, basically. Like, you ready to wrap it up. You ready to wrap it up. It's over. It's a Reynolds wrap. That's the reason why now they're like, listen, the only person that can save her is herself. That's why. Okay, I understand now. So now, what is your question? You have said that most people, that those were powerful people, mm -hmm. and most people don't even deal with them. And I was like, why they don't deal with them? You know, like, why are people afraid? Or is it because they're afraid? I don't know. No, it's just that said. it's just that it's like I said to you before, we come from a sacred tribe is what they're saying. And oh. certain tribes are not televised or certain tribes white folks or the government officials don't know about them because they cannot be touched. So you come oh, wow. from that yeah, you come from that tribe. You you you're one of them. So once I began to channel and here we go again. Here's I'm seeing the ritual again. They they're showing me yeah yeah. They I'm seeing um a uh, woman dancing. There's a drum circle going on right now, and there's some woman dancing, and their their paint their face is painted with white. They got white on, and they have like um little shoestring not shoestring but like um. You know, like hay or something, hay looking uh, mm -hmm. dresses on and stuff or skirts on with the tutus and they're dancing. Um, no one can touch us is what they're saying. They're your, they're your angels um, and your spirit guides. And yes, beloved, um, Barasamdi and, ooh, let's go to Barasamdi real quick. Give me a second. I think that he has a message for you. Hold on. Okay. Oh, Barasamdi. Okay. Let's 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 last time I believe that I tapped into Mama Bridget, right? Where was Mama right. Bridget I tapped into? Yeah. So let's go to Barasandi. Also known as Papa Legba. 
pose on B. This is D. This is B. Baron Shamdi. What is he going to tell us? What is going to resonate with us? Give me a second, my love. I'm, I, 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 I'm more than likely, more than likely, we is going to talk about relationships, or it's going to talk. It may talk about the situation that you are currently going through. Give me one second. Good thing my. My next appointment is not till an hour. Give me a second. B A. Uh, 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 where you at? The Baron. Oh, the Creole people. The Haitian people. Yeah, that's me. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. So modern Haitian voodoo has two types of spirits of the dead: the Gidus and the Barons. Um, boundaries between them are sometimes nebulous. But in general, the Barons are the spirits in charge elite spirits of the death remember i was telling you about that the barons exert what? dominion over the death that's the number nine beloved um there are okay. many barons baron samdi is the leader their leader so they came to you um because again you're dealing with me like me and baron samdi we have a very close connection um because of what i do in terms of channeling so others what? who have achieved Individual acclaim include Baron Lacrosse, Baron Cimetier, and also known as Barry Fu. The Barons are instantly recognizable. That's why they came through so quickly. They wear a combination of undertakers and high-ranking Freemasons garb. They tend to travel in packs. They're not solemn and funeral, but are uh, rakish and lewd. Disruptive spirits who interrupt others' law, rituals, and possess and possessions. They are obscene, offensive, and vulgar, but also elegant. Not to mention powerful. Many and remember when I was telling you, right? Remember when I was like, "Damn, I'm out of breath." Like that—that right. that thing was no, no, no. Seriously though, no that joke. no, For no, real. that was a no, no. Seriously, I never experienced that before. Like that was like I had to go to sleep behind that. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I need a child. I was like, God damn, what the hell is going on? No, seriously, no. This is serious. <laughs> <laughs> Many. Yeah, I'm laughing because I was out of breath and hot, like oh, I was dancing or exactly. something, but I was just sitting still. Exactly. Me and you was both feeling it, right? Many are mm -hmm. occult masters. There you go. Many are occult masters, which I'm a, I'm an occult tis in a sense. Um, they know the secrets of the grave and the secrets of the living, right? The barons protect and heal children. There you go. He's coming to heal you. That's why they embody um primal life. But they are simultaneously dead. Rule, law, order, authority, none of it applies to them. So it's like they free, they free, they free wow. spirited. Like they don't care about nothing. That's how I am. I don't give a damn about not a goddamn thing. I go with the spirit. And that's why they saying with you, you got to save yourself no matter what happens. You get what I'm saying? So they right. embody both um, truism. Death is guaranteed and life springs eternal. That's good. So that's also dealing with the number nine. They may be per, uh, petitioned for anything involving death, dying, and the cemetery, but also for fertility, right? Number, what, nine months? So a baby mm -hmm. is born, you know? Nine is the number of what? Completion only to begin again, right? So... Right. They may, uh huh. They may be on um, petition for anything involving death, dying, and the cemetery, but also for fertility, safe children, and sex. Uh, they are sometimes deliberately, deliberately offensive, but also ruthlessly honest. Right? They, uh, uh huh, uh huh. So if you if you can get past the jokes and Ask, wait, if you can get past, uh, if you can get past the jokes to ask them a question, they will give you the brutal truth. The Barons and Masse are synchronized to St. Gerald, who is pictured with a skull. We understand that. Manifestation, yes. mm -hmm, manifestation, uh, black suits, black hats, 
they wear dark glasses as they live in the grave um when they come to the land of the living they light um the light hurts their eyes even at night the colors is black and violet uh violet uh day is the second of november what did i tell you what number came up with you right like two nine, right? Yes. That's 11. Right, two nine, right, exactly. Um, offerings, rum, rum cakes, uh, rum candy, more rum, cigars, coins, Day of the Dead toys, sugar, and skulls. This is a sampling of some of. Uh, this is a sampling of some of the more renowned barons. But there are many others. So they have so many different barons. They have Baron Cimetier, Baron, Baron del Cimetaro, Baron Criminel, Baron Lacoste, you know, Baron Samdi. Here's Baron Samdi. This one I just read um, was the Baron. That's just the general. So Baron Samdi, Baron Samdi is the leader of the Barons and possibly the Gidis. He, pres he presides over a sprawling sprawling confusing complex clan of spirits right so right now your spirit is more so on what a confused tip right so he presides right. over a sprawling confusing complex clan of spirits when people speak of the baron they tend to mean barasamdi yes they do barasamdi is grandmaster of the celestial masonic lodge of voodoo spirits and that's the reason why that ritual or that spirit or whatever stuff i was channeling was so powerful because he yeah. is the grand master of the celestial masonic lodge of voodoo spirits a 30 a 30 second degree initiation mason he is and that's my son um he is invoked to contact and communicate with the dead, which I do because I communicate with the spirit realm, right? He may be petitioned right. to remove bothersome ghosts and invoke to ward off death. He, a powerful healer, is, and is especially sympathetic to terminally ill children. Barasamdi rules the cemetery. No one can die until he gives permission for their grave to be dug. Okay. Baron, oh, this is interesting. Baron Samdi is synchronized to Jesus Christ as uh, they share the symbol of the cross and hence also the symbol of, um, you know, um, the, the, the Ankh in a sense. Um, Barasamdi's association with the cross may, may predate Christianity. In Congolese cosmology, the cross is the symbol, oh, there you go, the cross is the symbol of the life cycle, birth and death. There you go, yeah, rebirth, that's the Ankh. And I'm also Congolese too, my father's from the Congo, so that will make sense why these particular strong entities will come through me because he's known as um, a law in Haiti, and also he's recognized in Congo. So it it makes sense. <laughs> so right, Barasamdi is the crossroads where sex and death meet. There you go. Sex, you've been having. Remember when I was talking to you about your sacred space? Sex and right. death. It's over for that. It's over for this brother now. Okay. Um, spirit. Yeah, spirit of the un undying life force. He may be petitioned for fertility. That's the number nine. He is the guardian of ancestral knowledge and the link to your ancestral spirit. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> there you go. It's one less. You, you, I'm making you. Yeah, I make you feel good, right? <laughs> right. If one, that's and it's okay. That's why you had to call me, and I'm honored. Um. He is the guardian of the ancestral knowledge and the link to your ancestral spirits. If one lens keep popping out of your dark glasses, the Baron may be seeking your attention um, or offering his pat um, patronage. Favorite children, I mean, favorite people are children, women seeking to conceive, um, funeral workers, grave diggers, those who work, those whose work bring them into contact with death so that's not that's not um 
you don't work with that t those type of people. But his attributes is the coffin, phallus, skull, and crossbones, etc., etc. Um, colors is black, also red and purple. Um, his day, what else is Saturday? His feast is the second of November. Um, as we spoke about, his numbers is three, seven, um, and twenty-one. Three dealing with the Trinity, mind, body, and soul. His consort, of course, is um, Madame Bridget, Mama Bridget, as I call her. She's she's my auntie. Um, they may be petitioned together for fertility, protection, or to save ailing children. So yeah, it's the protection thing. Okay, my love. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, Barashamdi, that's what's up. That's what's up. And that's good that you asked that question, too, and, and pertain, because, mm -hmm. beloved, I didn't know where that where that <laughs> video went. It might pop back up. I don't know, but I didn't even know who I was doing the reading for. <laughs> I didn't know nothing. I just, we just went straight in. But I'm glad Why? that we reunited. Yeah, I'm glad mm -hmm. that we reunited. I'm thankful. Mm-hmm. I'm thankful too because I do feel better, I and mean, you do. You have like validated things I felt, you know. But because I want to be good, mm -hmm. you know, I always second guess it. I never want to hurt anybody. Mm -hmm. But it is what it is, and I will be calling you. Like, well, he said calling you, texting you again. Okay. Not texting, emailing you again. Because after all of that, a lot happened that Ooh. was spiritual. I had some dreams and visions that are beyond oh. that I want to share with you. Okay. But I only paid for 30 minutes, so I don't want to go through <laughs> go over too far. It happens, beloved. It happens. And I do understand, and thank you for respecting my time. Um, oh, no problem. And and as soon as I upload this video, I will definitely email it to you. All right, okay, I appreciate it. Okay. And thank you so much. I really do feel better. Oh, my my mission has been accomplished, beloved. I love you so much. Create a bless. Oh, bless. Okay.